baby, welcome to and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Kitten and today we have a new video that is all about ABDL clothing. So I just got, I just went to my PO box and I have a bunch of stuff that was sent to me and some of it I had chosen myself. So I thought we should open it up together because one of them is a new company brand that I had just found out about. So I don't know how to say it properly. Killing space? Kill, killing me space? I know I'm butchering that. I don't know how to say it, but they have a lot of like ABDL stuff, like little outfit sets and things like that. And so they reached out and asked if maybe I would want to give them a test. So I was like, sure, why not? More adult baby stuff, the better. So I'm gonna start with that. We have three items from them. And the first one is a onesie. Okay, all right. I like to like give her a feel because like every brand definitely has like a different style of onesie. This is actually feeling a lot more spandexy than like, um, like a little for big more spandexy than maybe a onesie down under. I actually like how it feels though, cause it feels like it might form fit. I always have such an issue with things fitting my waist. Uh, today I'm just wearing this really comfy onesie. I just want like real casual today, even the setup. I'm just sitting on my couch in a pile of stuffies. Just feeling like being a little bit more chill today. So I hope that's cool with you guys. Let's just go over some logistics because this is different. It actually has the little shoulder snaps for like easy changing, like if you have a caregiver to help you change, that's very cute. So there's two shoulder snappies just on the one side, and then it's got three on the crotchy area. They are plastic snaps, so you're gonna wanna be careful because I have just straight up like pulled plastic ones and ripped them because they are a pretty strong snap. So let's see if it says anything important on the inside. Just their information, which I'll put in the description. So Daddy's Princess, I think that's actually very cute, very Disney-esque, super like little girly. It's definitely like the, the Disney font. And I love anything that says like daddies on it because that makes me feel really little. From the same place, um, I don't know if I mentioned this, I got them all in mediums. I usually fit in the medium pretty well, but we shall see, I will find out. All right, so this is like a little two piece set. Okay, is this the same? Okay, so yeah, this is the same, like pretty spandexy. I don't know why it's looking a little bit bigger than that onesie, maybe I'm tripping. Let me like hold it up. Oh, can you see? Maybe I am being crazy. No, it's the same, it's gotta be. Okay, I'm just tripping. It looked bigger, I think it's because it has like this little thingy on the back. Little like schoolgirl or sailor girl. This one does not have the snappies on the shoulder, but it has the three at the bottom. It's very cute. I love this little tie too. And then it has this little matching pleated skirt. I love the colors. This looks like it needs to be adjusted. Okay, good. It's got the little adjusty things in here. So you like pull it. Oh, it's cool. It's attached on the other side. The, um, the ones that I got from Little for Big, they don't have like a little attachy thing so it just like hangs loose so you just pull it and then you I'm making this look harder than it is i promise it's easy then you put it through the button and it'll like cinch the waist up for you it does have a zipper as well let's test it eh. Eh. fair it does that thing where it gets stuck a little bit because the zipper is kind of thin oh sheesh still very cute i don't like the material of the skirt i'll be very honest i think it's because it has like glitter I don't know if you can see the shimmer, but it makes it very stiff. But I think with the onesie under it, it won't like super matter, but it's definitely not like one of those like super soft, like when you twirl, it's going to easily spin style skirts, if that makes sense. This will be like really cute, I think for like a full look. This is actually really cute, like with my pigtails. I think that's cute, I don't know. Um, this is a brand new wig too. I actually just got this in the PO box. My birthday is coming up guys. So I've been getting like little gifts here and there. And oh my gosh, wait, I'll show you guys as long as, as long as we're all here. Um, these just came in today too. These are like just on Amazon. I really hope they fix. I kind of have small feet and they look like they might be a little loose. But for my six feet, I usually am like an eight to an eight and a half. I did get the eight and a half. 
so I hope they fit, but like, they are so cute. Like, they look like just baby doll shoes, like classic little baby doll shoes. They're by Biomiki, Biomiki? I don't know how to say that, but it's right on, right on Amazon. Somebody sent them to me and I thought it was really sweet because they're super cute. This is the last thing that we have from the Killing Star, if I'm saying that right. Oh, I don't know. These are very cute. They come in this little bag and do you guys know what they are? <gasps> They're plushy thigh high sockies. So they did ask me to pick out like some of the stuff and I picked these yellow ones cause like I don't have very many things in this kind of yellow. Like I have clothes, like onesies and stuff. Like can you picture this like with like one of my ducky onesies or I don't know, just something cute. I absolutely love these though. And they got little ears and they got the little faces. They don't have like any grippies or anything on the bottom, which is fine with me because I do sometimes wear these with shoes. And I don't like the sockies that have grippies when I'm wearing shoes. It feels too much sensory overload. The website has like a bunch of other like onesies and accessories and stuff, but this is just kind of like their start up kind of like they do have a bunch more onesies but they're just getting into it you know what i'm saying like expect more expect things to get like even cooler and more i don't know unique i'm assuming i don't know but regardless i'm very grateful that they chose me to send some stuff to to unbox and also share with you babies we're gonna move on to some new stuff from land of genie okay y'all know i love land of genie because they're baby stuff so i'm gonna start with the baby stuff so i'll be honest they sent me two onesies and they're the same thing but one was black and white i wore it and i was getting ready to like film in it and i may or may not have leaked my diaper in it so that one is in the wash um but i'll show you this one uh, these ones, this is like their new line and they, I think they shifted their sizes because these ones that just came in, these stripy ones, fit me better than their other ones. However, their other ones, one of them was ribbed and the other one had like the ruffles on the booty. So I don't know if just like each style does fit a little differently, but these ones are like mainly cotton and spandex it's just cotton and spandex but they feel really good really comfortable these are like actually so good for like little space or just popping some overalls over just like i don't know they're very like kid like very cute i will put a picture on the screen of the black and white one because i did such a cute look with it but i didn't get to properly film in it just baby stuff so that's the baby stuff but if you guys saw my other land of genie videos you'll know that they have like Kind of like sexier stuff like little lingerie kind of sets and things like that well they just came out with corsets which i'll be honest i think i got in the wrong size i ordered a medium and it cinched all the way up and that's what it looked like i think that i got it too big i think you need bosoms to fill these out but i thought i would still obviously share with you guys unfortunately i don't think i'll be able to wear them i will try them on if i do before i like upload this video i'll post pictures if it fits but i'm thinking they're not gonna but this one i was like oh my god hosh daddy and i should do like um an old school harley quinn and joker look together right and then this was just really cute and like princessy which i do lots of like bubblegum girly looks on my uh spicy pages and stuff but I think that I got them in too big of a size. This is like literally as tight as it gets. And I really do not have chesticles and I have a very small waist. So I don't know, I was a little bit sad about that, but it's my own fault for not double checking the sizing. That's the new stuff from Land of Genie. And then I have a couple things. So this next thing is from Onesies Down Under. One of my favorite onesie places. And they actually sent me a onesie for taking some pictures for them. And hold on, let me get it out of the crinkles. These are my favorite kind because they got the thumb holes. So it's not because of the thumb hole. Cause like I actually get kind of irritated like having something rubbing on that part of my thumb. It's because the ones with the thumb holes are a little bit longer. 
normal like long sleeve onesies never fit my span ever they never fit it and i have to get a medium or else it'll get like too baggy and so i was gonna medium and all their other ones literally like cut off like they end like here and i just i hate that so i'm so excited they sent me this and it was just because like i took pictures for them and stuff and i was like oh my god that's so sweet oh that's a look that is a vibe. I'm gonna do that for sure, for sure. That is so cute. The last clothing, I think this is the last clothing. And then I wanna show you guys a couple other things that I got in my P.O. box because why not? You guys follow me. You will know my bestie, K-Cat. I had us made custom like shirts. So this one was made for her and this one was made for me. And it says little space on it. And I got a passy in my mouth and she's got a baba in her hand. And it says little space and we're literally in little baby space suits. And then it says, K and Kitten. I got that from Little for Big. I don't know where that cut me off. I didn't realize it stopped recording, but Little for Big has the cutest customization like tools. I look so different with my hair parted like this. What the heck? I look like a, a different little lady. I don't know, it's kind of cute, whatever. Um, but either way, they have customization tools on their page now. So literally you can just like put whatever pictures, images you want on onesies, shirts, I don't even know. Just go look. It's fun. So that's it for clothes, as I said. But I had just a couple things that I wanted to show you that I got for my birthday and I'm really excited about. So stay put. Don't go. I want to show you. Who here is a 90s baby? I've never had one of these before. Focus camera. Do you know what this is? Okay. So you get it, right? You, you understand. And then, hold on, hold on. Oh, can you see? You can hardly see it. Darn it, hold on. It's much better in the dark. You, you, can you tell? Can you tell? Okay, it's way more funner in the dark. Sorry, it's a light bright. <laughs> it was really underwhelming, but I am so excited. Ooh, does that bother you guys, the natural light? Cause I actually, that feels wonderful for my eyes. Is that okay? Do you guys care? I kind of want it. Oh, what is happening? It's my widow's peak. I have a widow's peak. Can you guys see? That's my widow's peak. I need to shave it off. Yes, I do usually shave it off. The next thing, I got a couple sensory things to show you. These are also a very 90s thing for me. These wigglers. I opened one of them. These thingies that get squishy. I love them. They have stuffs inside. They're so slippery and fun. Wee! I love them. Ah! They are slippery though. Somebody sent me these as well for my birthday. I didn't know if I was supposed to open or not, but I'm very excited. I'm sorry. The other sensory thing. Do not be deceived by the name, okay? This is called a Buzz Buddy, okay? <laughs> so, this is, let's see, Buzz Buddy Oral Motor Tool. It's a sensory toy for chewing. It's like a spoon, and you put it on the wand thing, and it's chewy, so it's made of food grade silicone, and then it has different like patterns of like, of like vibration and motions and it's like very like soothing and I have an, like an oral fixation, I like to chew. So I have a Buzz Buddy. I don't like the name. I don't like how strange it looks, but it's fun and it's sensory fulfilling. <laughs> They're all like pretty, nostalgic -y things except for the buzz buddy i would say um because these are sticker scenes so it's like the removable stickers but you can like make whole scenarios it's almost like playing sims but old school and this is what i used to love so much i might even get more enveloped in this than i did sims which is saying something but i used to love is i actually used to have a barney one <laughs> and then i had a nickelodeon one and i love these and i found these on amazon so i had to put them on my wish list and i'm so glad that somebody got them for me because these kind of things like the more nostalgic end of things like the light bright these i want to get blow pens those are also on my wish list blow pens and some other like stuff that I had growing up that I really liked. That kind of stuff really makes my little space feel way more special because little space for me is about going back to like a nostalgic feel good time for my personal self. This one was a doozy. I was not prepared. A pink iPad and a pink controller. And I specifically wanted these 
to play Hello Kitty Island Adventure. I don't like to play games on my phone because my phone is predominantly what I use for work. And the fact that it wasn't available on my computer, I was so devastated. And then my friend told me that she hooks up her controller, a Bluetooth controller, to her iPad and plays Hello Kitty Island Adventure from it. So I downloaded it last night and I literally played it for hours. I love it so much. Highly recommend for Little Space too. It's so cute. It's so like basically simplistic, you know what I mean? Like there's little, there's little bits of challenges, but it's my style of gaming because I don't want anything that's going to stress me out. The very last thing, it's another, I would say like sensory thing. This is a weighted stuffy. It's a puppy. And so he's got like, can you hear it? It's like those heavy like beads. I don't know what to call it in his pawsies, so he's weighted, and I really like weighted stuff, like my baby dolls that I have, my Reborns, I love that they're weighted, and this just feels so comforting. I don't like anything that'll like crush my chest, but the feeling of like holding something in my arms or on my lap, just like to hug, feels so good to me. That's the last thing that I got from the P.O. Box from this time around, and I don't know if there'll be more, I don't know if this is fun for you guys to see, or if it like inspires any like, oh my gosh, like, you should go get a light bright and blow pens too to encourage a happy little space. I don't know. The purpose was to show you guys the clothes and then the rest of this was just because like, I like to share with somebody. So if you guys wanna come over and play or if anybody wants to join me on Hello Kitty Island Adventure, apparently there's a multiplayer. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you had fun. Thank you all for sending me these gifts. It's so sweet. So please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out Patreon for more ABDL lifestyle content and stuff that I cannot show here, um, as well as just exclusive things that I do over there to be extra special for the patrons. And until next time, forehead kiss.